What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, today, just want to get a quick little video of what we got from Harbor. So we ended up going and getting a new welder. So we got the Omni Pro, it's by Vulcan, Omni Pro 220. Um, we also got the spool gun for our aluminum. We got some aluminum welds. So we're gonna do a quick little overview unboxing of this guy and uh, see how she is for, you know, Harbor Freight. Um, right now with a coupon, it was $7.99. So, you know, not bad. Uh, spool gun was $1.99, I think it was. So, you know, we're looking at about a grand right here. We also got the three-year warranty. So we're gonna go ahead and see how decent this welder is from Harbor and uh, basically how it compares to Lincoln. So stay tuned for that. So first I went ahead and unbox the spool gun real quick. Um, right now, quality's not too bad. Um, hard plastic basically on everything. I mean, it's Harbor stuff, so you're not gonna get metal. Um, get a bunch of contact tips. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's a little capsule, I don't know. Um, over here we got a spool of wire. This is, they already comes with some aluminum, so great. So we get some aluminum wire. As I said, we already bought another package here. So we get two little spools of aluminum wire. So that's gonna be great. And they're gonna be both .035. So yeah, spool gun looks pretty cool. Again, it was like 199 at Harbor. So we'll see when we hook it up. But uh, yeah, so this matches up um, right away, just plug and play with these ones from Harbor. So the Mig Mac 140, Mig Max 215, and the Omni Pro 220 like we got. So there's your spool gun. Looks not too bad. So we'll see how it works once we get everything um, unboxed. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the welder. All right, now that we have everything pulled out, you do get a lot of goodies with this one. As I said already, this is the 220 Omni Pro. So you do get your LCD screen here. Um, gonna be really nice, got all your hookups, all that good stuff. So the welder actually looks really nice. I love the color, um, nice metal, nice handles around. Not too bad, I think it's only like 50-ish pounds. So pretty light, you can carry around, use it at the work site or you know, uh, mount it on a cart, whatever you choose. So welder is actually really nice. We'll go ahead and I'll basically take that out and we'll make another video with kind of a review on how it works and all that good stuff. Just unboxing for now. But uh, yeah, welder looks really cool. All right guys, so we pulled the welder out of the bag and we're gonna take a look at that here in a second. We'll go over a few of the features on it. But uh, we're gonna talk next about what comes with the welder itself. So this is not the spool gun. Um, this is just what comes with the welder. So first off, you get your drive roll. It has all your different sizes of wire so you can adjust it for that. You get a little sheet metal gauge. You get your argon CO2 regulator over here. So that's pretty nice. Um, pull that out of the box in a second. You also do get some airline. You do get some solid MIG wire and some flux core wire, so that's really nice. So you do get something basically you can start with um, immediately out of the box. You can hop on, basically put your hook up your MIG, and you can start welding right away. Um, you also do get your power cords, so you get two of those. And then you also do get your ground clamp, cable, and your stick electrodes. So basically you can either go, um, if you guys have stick at home, you can basically you go stick welding or you can do MIG, either one right out of the box. So then it gives you the option later on if you want to run spool or if you want to run TIG. So, you actually do get a lot of things here. Um, basically not bad for the value. You do get a lot of features to just basically start out with. So that's pretty nifty. Um, next up, we're gonna go ahead and check out the welder. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and check out the welder just real quick. On the front end here, you do have some nice rubber knobs. They have a little rubber coating on them. Um, they seem all right. The middle one's a little loose, but other than that, they seem pretty tight. Uh, you do have your LCD screen here. We'll see how that all runs here in a little while. You do have a buttons basically control it. You have a home button and a back button. You have your hookups, you have your power on here in the front end. You have your hookups on the front. Around the side, again, you just have some vents on this one. And on this side, basically, is your cover so you can get inside and put your spool in there. So that's pretty nice, not too bad. And then on the back, you do have your gas inlet valve there, um, as well as your cable for your hookup for your power. So really not too bad. As I said, I really like the handles. Um, they are part of the plastic part of it. The only part that's metal is the orange section. So it's not bad, though. I think it's actually going to be a pretty decent little welder. So we'll see what happens when we get everything hooked up and start running it. So stay tuned for that, guys. As I said, we're just doing a quick unboxing kind of overview about the welder and everything that comes with as well as a spool gun we bought. So stay tuned. We're probably going to do a little basically trial video and see how she runs and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye. Before you guys go, I wanted to do a quick little overview. Um, give a couple trial runs over here on a couple of this random piece of metal we had sitting around. So um, this thing is awesome so far. Basically, all your adjustments where you have to fine tune to figure out exactly how much heat you need and all that stuff is gone with this welder. So you have all your settings here in the front end where you can adjust it. So you, to see that. So you can adjust it for your different types of MIG. Um, the flux core, which we are using right now. So there's our flux core. Um, then you have more options for your MIGs. Then you also do have your spool gun for your aluminum, which we're gonna hook up here in a little bit. You have your stick, and then you also have your TIG, which we need to go buy. Um, basically what you do is you, whatever you're doing, whatever you're operating with right now. So we're using the flux core, as I said. Uh, basically you take your, your selection here on the screen, you click your middle button here. Now you're basically going to tell you how to hook up all your wires down below. 
So you're gonna have a clamp over here in the positive, and you know, you loop this guy back in the negative. Uh, very straightforward, basically after you connect your MIG gun, which connects in there, uh, very simple and straightforward. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna confirm your settings. Then basically you're gonna adjust it. So now we're talking basically your diameter of your wire. So we are at a 0.03. So we are gonna be running a 0.03 up here as well. And then over here on your thickness, basically that's judged on uh, whatever you're welding. So again, it comes with the little thickness, basically gauge here. Uh, if you guys don't know your thickness of your metals and all that. So you can figure that out. And then you basically just take your right knob and you can adjust wherever you need to. So we were running 10 gauge a little bit ago. So we hooked all that up, we confirmed it again. And now basically it pre-programs everything you need. So you guys can see we're doing your flux core, you don't need gas, uh, the thickness of our wire, and then our whatever well your thickness of our metal. So now you can sit here, you can play, you can fine tune adjust everything, you can adjust your speed, all that good stuff. But basically the machine auto adjusts whatever you need, which is freaking awesome. So I'm loving this thing so far. If you guys know anything about this style, um, I'm loving it. Again, if you're like for, you know, uh, we pay, what I pay? We paid $7.99 on this one. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a better deal later on in the year with the Harbor Freight ones. This usually is 850 ish or keep on with 799 right now. But with all the pre-programmed basically operations in this thing, this thing is freaking awesome. So guys, stay tuned. Again, we're gonna do a lot of more welding and all that stuff. We're gonna work on this backhoe. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching, guys. Again, as I said, like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye guys.